I'm your host, Alicia Lynn, and welcome to Cooking with Alicia Lynn. If you're new to my channel, hey y'all, if you've been here, what's up? <laughs> so today I'm going to be doing a pescatarian style Thanksgiving. Even though Thanksgiving was four days ago, yeah, it's Sunday y'all, but I was just like, I'm, I need some groceries, why not make a pescatarian style Thanksgiving meal? So, and I'm sure to be empty, and I'm just like, I'm really tired of it. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing my brand, Balaam. <laughs> Balaam Lux, go shop BalaamLux.com. Per these pants are back in stock. Yeah, please work with me because I can't find my, um, first of all, let's pour up some wine before I even say what I'm about to say. This is sad, I ain't even eat yet. But I'ma pull me up some wine, I guess I'm pescatorian, but <laughs> I heard a glass of wine that they keep the doctor away, so. <laughs> so this wine is Tristoria California Rose 2020. And I got this from Audi, it was like $6. And it's 13%, so. Just pour me a little bit of This is kind of like the same type of flavor as um, I don't know. I'm gonna think, I'm gonna make some for us potato salad, but this is like the same flavor as pink moscato, kind of. Let me see. It tastes just like pink moscato. This is my beautiful cabinet we're gonna get it together um as you can see i have no more toilet paper in here so we about to just put all this in there all organized and stuff Okay, so this is the stuff that I'm gonna be using today. I got my salmon, which is my protein, my meat. Um, I got elbow macaroni noodles, macaroni elbow noodles. I don't know why it's called, why is it called elbow? This thing right here? Why is it called elbow? I don't know, okay. So I'm gonna be doing some macaroni. I kinda wanna separate everything. My refrigerator is so empty, y'all. It just be empty for no reason. And yes, we need all this cheese. So macaroni first. Um, I wanna make my beans next. Well, macaroni. But yeah, I'm gonna put this. It's just one, one thing, it's another thing. Um, this is just my kombucha. So I'm gonna be, oh, I got some, this is like dessert. I got these, cause I didn't really wanna make dessert. I got these and some ice cream. That is chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. And then some of my potato salad. Oh, I also put onions in my, my beef beans. Um, this is gonna go in my potato salad. And so is a celery. So I'm gonna put that over there. Um, and then I'm gonna put a little, I'm gonna try a little bit of pesto. I'm gonna see how this tastes in my potato salad. Um, we're also gonna put eggs in my macaroni and my potato salad. So I'm just leaving that out right there. And then, if you don't put eggs in your potato salad, you should try it. It's really good. Um, I'm also gonna make some, oh, I put the spinach back, didn't I? I was gonna make some spinach dip, but I'm not gonna do that anymore. So this is for my potato salad too. Um, what else? I'm also gonna be making some honey glazed rolls, which I 
do not have honey. I'm gonna make a butter. I'm gonna make a butter. Um, I'm gonna make a little paste spray type of thing with this salted butter, pure vanilla extract, and um, the little bit of honey that I have left I'm gonna use to make this spread for the yeast. And then I'm gonna put these in the oven just for a little bit, just so I can like bake just a tiny bit. I make this special sauce. I've never actually cooked macaroni, be baked macaroni before. So we're gonna see how that turns out. But I think that's it. If I'm not missing anything, I got this because I thought, I, I got cream cheese because I thought I was gonna make my spinach dip, but I actually left that at Aldi. I put it back, so. All right, y'all, what should I say? I'm pescatarian. Yes, I'm pescatarian. Majority of the time, I do not eat any type of meat. But when I run out of things to eat, I'll eat some type of meat because with pes being a pescatarian, one thing I have to do is have to cook all the time. And sometimes I don't feel like cooking all the time. My pot is a little too small. Alexa, pause. I forgot all about copyright. But um, I'm gonna make it sorta how I make my Alfredo sauce. So I got my heavy whipping. I'm gonna use some heavy whipping cream, um, a, a, a whole stick of butter. Um, my cheese and then I'm gonna season it with this Cajun seasoning and then also with, I'm gonna put some um, parsley in there and I'm missing something. Oh my egg. So I'm gonna put like two eggs in there. And I don't know if you haven't noticed my young grandma for the black people. When your grandma make your macaroni, she put eggs in. Um, she mixes the eggs in. It's really good, like, for real. I went not eat. So I'm gonna put a whole stick of butter in here. I wish I could give y'all some, some angles for real, but I can't. Yeah, y'all, this is so fattening. I'm not even gonna lie, macaroni is really fattening. I've never made it, but I just know. Super fattening. I might have to make a couple of, uh, I might have to make some more sauce, I already know. But, cause I don't have a bigger pot. So we gonna put that stick in there. So, I just put the heavy whipping cream in there. And I, oh, we don't do measurements either, baby. <laughs> this, not a, this is not a how-to video. We don't do measurements, baby. So, I'm gonna put the, the the eggs in last so they don't actually cook while I mix them in with everything else. I don't want them to cook. So, I'm gonna put the cheese in. Like I say, what you imagine this, baby? I got my mouth about it. <laughs> Just put as much cheese as I want in that help. And then, you already know, once it's done baking or once I put it all in the pan, um, I'm gonna put more cheese. So I'm not gonna put too much cheese in the sauce, like not too, too, too much. But, um, I have to do this. I feel like I can add some more heavy whipping cream though. Cajun seasoning. So people be like, this all you put? Yes, because this literally has everything in it. Like it has all the seasonings basically combined into this one. So it has salt, spices, dry red peppers, dry garlic, and paprika. So you want spice, salt, whatever, it's all in here. So I use 
that. And then sometimes if it's not enough, I'll use like Cajun seasoning, but I don't need to add like salt or pepper in it because it already has literally salt and pepper in it. So yeah, this is gonna get thicker as it boils. I mean, as it melts, as the as everything melts together, it's going to get thicker. So. So, <laughs> look, okay, so I put the noodles in the pan, right? Um, and then I did one layer, and then I seasoned it, and I'm about to do this layer, and then I'm going to season it. Just a little bit, because it's going to be hella seasoning in the, uh... Yeah, anyway. So, these noodles, right? These noodles, this brand, if you go to Audi and you get this brand, this joint boil and cook in like five minutes. So, this happened in less than like 10 minutes of it being in there. So, I'm lucky that I have more left so I can do it the right way because <laughs> I'm not putting that in there. That's going to the trash. But I'm going to just do one more layer of that and then i'm gonna put the sauce over top of it all throughout all up in there and then i'm gonna put it in the oven so the oven is preheating right now and yeah so i'm doing my asparagus yes it's messy y'all it's messy i got little pots <laughs> but it's okay i mean little pots and pans but because i don't i don't usually cook this like big this, you know, it's just me, so. But, um, yeah. <laughs> and I usually cook my um, asparagus in a pot like this. I don't know why, I just do it, so. Yeah. Yes, it's messy, I'm cooking. <laughs> but yeah, this one is trash. That's, that don't look good. Like, it probably tastes good, tastes like noodles. But look, it's all mush. Mm -mm. Okay, so my sauce is done. This is butter, heavy whipping cream, a lot of cheese, and three eggs mixed in there, and a lot of seasoning. So while this, as I put this in the oven, I'm gonna clean off the stove top and stuff because I can't look at it like this. But we're just going to pour this on per. I should have probably mixed it before I put it in there. <laughs> but it's okay. It's getting so messy, y'all. Why y'all didn't tell me this was this messy? Come on, what? Oh, you hear that? Yeah. Remind me. You remind me of something. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. This is gonna be good. Just because, first of all, I should have mixed it all in the pot, to be honest, but I'm doing this off my dome. I don't got no recipe. I ain't never did this before. I'm just freestyling. Good though. Try not to like mash up anything. The top like that. How long are you supposed to make this? <laughs> to do this with one hand. All right, now we're done. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so I got all of the cheeses on there. I used 
my Mexican style cheese and mozzarella. It looks so good. Like, if this turned out good, which I know it will, I'm gonna be so proud of myself. So, I'm gonna put this in the oven. And then I'm gonna clean up because this is ridiculous. I only did the macaroni so far, and this is. I, I, it's crazy. <laughs> Ooh, y'all. This gonna be some sort. Ooh. I just know this gonna be good because I don't know how long macaroni is supposed to cook. But I'm gonna be on 20 minutes and check up on it. I know it's not gonna be done in 20 minutes, though. So. Clean these dishes and we're gonna start over and get everything else done. Also, I did my asparagus, so it's in here. Okay, this is the macaroni. We not going on, we not gonna even assume anything until that top part is like dark. Not too, 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 too dark, but like you see how it's changing colors until all of it is that color. We not even, we not even gonna dip in it. <sighs> so I'm gonna put another 20, I'm gonna put another 15 minutes on. Um, excuse me. What the? But I got the eggs and potatoes boil i'm not gonna make that much potato salad because honestly i don't really like potato salad that much but i'm just i'm just doing it y'all because i can all right so i got the potatoes and man i got the potatoes and <laughs> i got potatoes and eggs boiled so now I'm about to try to open this without a can opener. Okay, so I got the can of beans open after hard work and dedication. So usually I would have more like beef than this, but that's all I had and I thought I had enough. So I just put some beef and some onions in there and then I'll put the beans in there and let them sit for a little bit. And I'm gonna add some like syrup in there. If it doesn't already have like, if it needs syrup, I'll add syrup. But just let this simmer for a little bit because I like my beans to have flavor and all that good stuff. So yeah. So uh, try a little bit of macaroni. It's torch. I know it looked burnt on camera, but it's not that dark in person. Either way, that's what you wanted to talk. That shit's torch. 
So, I got my beans in there. And you know, I'm black. So, we're going to add some seasoning. And then we're going to add some syrup. Just a little bit of syrup. But, no, that macaroni, y'all. I can't wait to eat. <laughs> I can't wait to eat, y'all. But this is so good. And just look at that. Now, I'm about to add this syrup. This is basically Aunt Jemima. Oh, my God. What was that? <gasps> what was that? What was that? What was that noise? Okay. I don't know. Anyway. It's a ghost in here. So I'm going to add some of this. Basically, Aunt Jemima's. I'm going to just put that much in there. I think that's good enough. And we're just going to let the beans kind of simmer in there. But there go the beans. So now that my potatoes and everything is almost done, almost done cooling off, I'm gonna just move over here. It's, it's real messy in here. So I don't know if people normally add sour cream to their um, uh, potato salad, but I feel like I'd be tasting it in there. So I'm gonna just add some sour cream. So this is really good. I haven't put any seasoning in it yet. And it's already good. So I'm about to put a little bit of seasoning in, just a little bit. Okay, I can do this Thanksgiving thing. Hold on. Cause, what? So I'm gonna put some parsley in there for extra color. But yeah, I feel like what saved it, honestly, was the sour cream. But. It's a little, I could use a little bit more like potatoes and, but I don't really, I don't really eat it. That's good. But to fill it up a little bit, I'm going to boil some more potatoes and put a little bit more, um, put just a little bit of pesto in there. Put a little bit more eggs in there too. 
eggs and potato back in there. It's a little bit of pesto. I'll mix that in. Just for color and extra, extra, extra flavor. Y'all, I can really cook. Like, okay, you know how you just got that. You see, I got the auntie arms, so it just come with my DNA. Like, I can do this shit. I'm gonna put a couple more eggs and potatoes on. Cut that up and add it. Last thing we have to do is make the glaze for the make the glaze for the bread. And then I was gonna do like Italian, like garlic type of bread, but I'm not gonna do that. So last thing I have to do is make the glaze for the bread and cook the salmon. The salmon is gonna cook the quickest. So after I put the eggs on, I'm gonna work on the salmon and then I'm gonna make the glaze and then I'm gonna honestly, I think I'm gonna soak the bread in the glaze. So, ooh, this is so good, y'all. Hold on, I don't even like this sheet. Mmm, the pesto added something. Okay, y'all, I'll be back. <laughs> All right, y'all, so this salmon is like shedding like this, those scales and I'm like disgusted. <laughs> oh, why is it shedding? All right, so I'm just gonna season this with the Cajun Creole seasoning and lemon pepper. So it's automatically gonna be on 15 minutes. So while that's um, cooking or frying or whatever, I'm going to get the other half and wash it off and season it and put it in. All right, so as you can see, it's messy again. <laughs> So, I'm going to, first of all, look at this macaroni. I know it looks burnt, y'all. I promise it's not. It's perfect, literally perfect. Like, it got a little crisp outside. This outside does not taste burnt. Um, but, yeah, it's so good. Um, then I'm going to just set everything out once. Yeah, so, the beans looks so good and it tastes bomb the beans they look so good and they taste so good um I'm boiling some more eggs and potatoes to put in the um potato salad <sighs> my salmon is in here it's only been in here for like three minutes so it's only been in there for a little bit so and i got my cup of wine but I'm about to clean up again. It got messy in here again, so I'm about to clean up for the second time. All right, so we back. <laughs> this time I put less cinnamon, but we're gonna do this. This glaze is all in the pan. Yes, 
I cannot wait to eat, y'all. I'm so fat. <laughs> Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you thumbs up. Hold on. Hold on. I know it's dirty. I gotta clean. But cheers. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you thumbs up. Tell your friends about my channel. And I will see you in the next video.